Hi, I'm Sarah Moser, and this is another faith training episode. And since last time I talked about the marriage supper of the lamb and kind of end time stuff, this time I just want to talk about Jesus is our shepherd. We're living in a very unprecedented time and, you know, I think a lot of people are just going through a hard time and I just wanted to take this opportunity to remind you that Jesus is our shepherd. You might be feeling like a lost sheep at the moment and feeling um, kind of blind in this situation and I just want to remind you that you know God has not left us alone during this time. I want to highlight one particular scripture, Matthew chapter 9, verse 36. It says, when he saw the crowds, he, meaning Jesus, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. And the thing is, Jesus is our shepherd. And even though we like sheep have all gone astray, he has compassion on us. He wants us healed. He wants us redeemed. God is for us. He's not against us. And even though these times might be confusing and, you know, that it, it's kind of hard to know what's even true, you know, we're living even in a time of fake news and who do we trust? Well, we put our trust in God. I love Psalms 118 verse eight. Psalm 118 eight says, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. I mean, talk about a power verse right now and then it goes on in verse 9 it is better to take refuge in the lord than to trust in princes so basically you know how often do we put too much trust in our leaders and authorities in this world we need to trust god the almighty our creator and trust Jesus Christ to be our shepherd, to shepherd us through these unprecedented times. He has not left us without a comforter. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. And so I am just emphasizing in this video, where are you putting your trust? Anything that we put above God is an idol. So, Are you going to tr put your trust in God? Are you putting all your trust in science? Are you putting all your trust in the media? Are you putting all your trust in social media? Are you putting too much trust in yourself during these times? God has not made us to be self-sufficient. He has made us to be God dependent, to lean on him, to trust in him and not our own understanding. Over the past few weeks he showed me a in a powerful way in a dream that it was time to flush my own understanding and this is the thing is i just challenge you and myself as well to let go of what we think we know and ask god everything ask him everything I will be the first to tell you that I ask God a lot of dumb questions. And actually I have to like retract that. There really are no dumb questions with God because really if we were to humble ourselves and realize he knows everything and that we really by comparison know very, very little, there is not one single thing that we could teach God. He already knows our thoughts. He knows who he created us to be. He knows us better than we know ourselves. There's not one single thing that we could teach him. So we should be asking him everything. And the scripture says, ask, seek, 
Knock. Ask and he will answer you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. And so I would challenge you that don't just take man's understanding for, for granted as, as though it's the biblical truth. God is the truth. Jesus is the truth. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, he can speak into our lives and give us answers. And a lot of times when the Holy Spirit answers me about something or, you know, answers me through God's word or just answers me directly, a lot of times I'm just like, oh, duh, like I should have known that. But the thing is, no, not really. I mean, it always feels like, oh my gosh, I should have been able to figure that out on my own. But how would I? Jeremiah 33, verse 3 is one of my favorite verses. Well, I have a lot of favorites, but I love Jeremiah 33, verse 3, because it says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and hidden things that you have not known. I mean, what a beautiful promise from our Creator. I hope that this message blessed you and encouraged you today. I made this one kind of short just because feel like the last two episodes were kind of like intense and heavy and I kind of just wanted this one to be a little bit more light and encouraging and I hope this message blessed you. I hope that you are taking this time. That was loud. I hope you're taking this time during quarantine to grow in your relationship with the Lord and I pray that you just continue to have a thirst for God's word and that you continue to ask him, ask him all the stuff, ask him all those questions. Don't take man's understanding for granted that it's true. Ask your creator who knows all what's true and what's not. I pray that we all have a greater discernment for the truth. I pray that we are all exercising wisdom during this time by asking the Father what, what his path is for us during this time and what that looks like and just trusting him, trusting him completely. We can't go wrong with that. I'll see you next time.